Alabama residents wanting to take a domestic flight without a passport after this year may want to listen up. The deadline for Alabama's new star ID is quickly approaching for some. WVUA's Jennifer Edwards joins us now in the studio with the details. The new star IDs are Alabama's way to comply with the federal real ID law, but county officials are warning you may want to start thinking about getting this new form of ID sooner rather than later. STAR stands for Secure, Trusted, and Reliable Identification. The STAR ID is basically a driver's license with a gold star in the top left corner of your driver's license, and it requires a little more documentation. This new ID will be required to take any domestic flights without a passport or to enter any federal building that requires ID. Brown says the new STAR IDs can only be renewed at an Alabama Department of Public Safety license office with a lengthy list of documentation. Logistically, it's, it's going to be difficult for our citizens in Tuscaloosa County uh, to get all the documentation and then have to go through the process at the Department of Public Safety at State Troopers Office because, frankly, they need staffing. And that, that's an issue for them as well. Tuscaloosa resident David Hardin has gone through the STAR ID renewal process and says it's important to pay attention to what the requirements are. When you look at the required items and you carry them there, some of them are not accepted. For example, it says a military ID. My retired military ID was not acceptable because he didn't have a social security number on it. He says it's also important to give yourself some time. I was the third one in line and I think it probably took me 45 minutes to an hour. Despite these setbacks, Brown says he fully supports the new policy. I certainly would want to make sure that I didn't issue a terrorist a driver's license and that's the concern. Now, the new regulations will go into effect December 1st of this year for people born after December 1st of 1964. For people born on that day or, or before that date, the new regulations will be effective in 2017. For WVUA News, I'm Jennifer Edwards.